Chinese President Xi Jinping recently announced at a conference in Beijing that he would invest more than 23 billion in Middle Eastern countries. At the conference, which was attended by 22 Arab countries, Jinping called his plan an oil and gas plus model. Many in the Middle East see China's actions as an attempt to increase China's influence. Although Jinping's announcement appears to be a manifestation of China's growing importance in the Middle East and China's economic power, China's diplomatic power in the region is not a significant one, and China's military position in the same region is still quite small. Socialist China's relationship with the Middle East is not very old, with the collapse of the Soviet Union and the end of the Cold War. China began developing relations with some Middle Eastern countries in order to gain sufficient international support against Taiwan. China has been looking to the Middle East since 1993 to meet its growing energy demand, and within two years the Middle East has become China's main energy supplier. Since then, China's economic growth over the past two decades has steadily increased its energy demand and increased its dependence on Middle Eastern oil. The reality of China's huge population will keep China dependent on it. According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, China currently consumes 12.6 million barrels of oil per day, or 13% of the world's total oil consumption. Of this, China produces only 3.6 million barrels of oil. And that's why in 2016, China overtook the United States to become the world's largest oil importer. China imports its oil from a total of 45 countries. Stays. Saudi Arabia is the largest supplier of oil to China, out of nine countries in the Middle East accounting for more than half or 55 percent. In an article in Contemporary International Relations, Chinese researcher Niu Xinchen said that the Middle East will continue to be the main source of oil imported by China in the days to come. And this is the strategic importance of the Middle East to China. China's One Belt One Road strategy is making the Middle East more important to China. The Middle East is a very important partner in this plan to travel from China to Europe. Since the announcement of this plan, several seaport development agreements have been signed between China and the Middle East countries since 2013. Along with the supply of energy, the port network is making the Middle East more important to China. As China's economy grows, so will the importance of the Middle East. Due to oil in the Middle East, China has improved its relations with Iran and Saudi Arabia. On the other hand, China will again be important to countries as a supplier of technology, investment and military weapons. However, as both countries are keen to have deeper ties with the West, the extent to which China's influence can grow there remains questionable. The government of Iranian President Hassan Rouhani is keen to improve relations with Europe, as Iranian officials have made clear in recent talks on Iran's nuclear program. On the other hand, Saudi Arabia's diplomatic, security and military ties with the United States have been growing since the ascension of Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. Most analysts do not think that this will change in the near future. Saudi Arabia has recently bought unmanned drones from China and used them in the war in Yemen, according to various media reports. However, this military relationship is small enough. Saudi Arabia's entire military is armed with Western weapons, and Mohammed bin Salman has ordered many more from the United States and Europe. In the absence of deep military ties, China's influence in the Middle East will be minimal. The U.S. military presence in the Middle East is a major challenge for China. The United States also maintains its diplomatic influence in the Middle East as an important mediator in peace talks. By supporting dictatorships in most of the Middle East, 
the United States has streamlined its military and security relations. The United States alone has long had the experience of having military bases thousands of miles away in the Middle East. China is brand new here. The United States has consistently used its military, diplomatic, and economic powers to sway important issues in the Middle East. But China has always shunned involvement in Middle East issues. In Djibouti, China established its first military base on foreign soil. There are also some Chinese peacekeepers in Lebanon on UN missions. Syria also has some military advisors. However, China did not participate in the military mission against IS. Military analysts believe that these minor military actions are not enough to strengthen China's position in the Middle East. The security of the fuel sea route from the Middle East to China is still in the hands of the powerful U.S. Navy aircraft carriers. And for now, China is not in a position to challenge that strong position of the United States although it has recently focused on building aircraft carriers. It will take China many years to prepare them for impact in the Indian Ocean. One thing is to build a ship, and it's another thing to have a pilot with enough experience to fly over that ship. China is becoming more important in the Middle East, which is a big find in China over the last few decades. However, China has not yet been able to demonstrate the diplomatic and military action it needs to take this achievement further. China wants to be happy with its economic ties with the Middle East. China's goal will be to have a supply of fuel oil from the region without any problems. However, it remains to be seen whether China will be willing to spend more to achieve that goal. Finally, if you like our video, please like, comment and share. Also don't forget to subscribe.